anti yeni kuti di sayon Mitchum. Patreon, the matriarch of the Anikulapo Kuti family, is with today. Today, she said to me, she has stopped doing interviews. When they say it's true, they, she said, I will do it for true. I've stopped giving interviews. Yes, I so, have. Yes. Uh, when he mentioned your name, I said, okay, because it's true, let me just. Yeah, and I said, Auntie, thank you. We go deep into her family. We talk about Fela. Was he a good father? In his own way, yes. But in the conventional sense, no. Mm. I don't even think he should have had children. I think he should have just been father to all the nation. <laughs> National father. You didn't feel any special bond that you were fellas' child. Right. Or he was going to favor you because you were his child. Or mm. you, you were just another human being, mm. as far as he was concerned. It was different. Yeah. Because we didn't call him daddy for instance mm. did he die happy that's a very very tough question the reason that i think it's tough is because he was quite ill mm. when he died so someone that is so ill i don't think can be happy and what did the family and the children especially think when his brothers announced that he had died of aids i have to say it now that i think it was the best decision that my uncle made right. if he had not announced it till now they will still be doing underground. So what killed Fela? But he said, no, Fela died of AIDS. Oh, yeah. So uh, 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 the press that wanted to go to town and yes, be investigating. Yes, yes. There's nothing to investigate. There's nothing. It was very emotional. And at some point, she said, Trudy, I don't want to cry. Yeah, I don't want to start crying on your set, so I don't want to talk about it too much. Right. <laughs> right. And then we talked about her. Has dancing been rewarding? The fact of the matter is I did not do it for monetary value. I did it because I loved, loved it. it. Yeah. And it was a passion. Of course, we went on tour, we made, I made money. I can't say I didn't make money, you know. Yes, it was rewarding. Was she joking when she said she doesn't mind walking into her husband, cheating on her? I won't leave my husband if he's cheating. It's, that's me. You can leave your own husband if he's cheating. That's you. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Yeah. My father had 27 wives. My mother didn't go. Eh? So it's me that will now come and go <laughs> because of one girl. <laughs> Ah, it will never happen. It cannot happen. <laughs> Why do you say she's probably not going to get married until she's 75? Eh, no. He's 75, you promise. He, I will be, he will be 77, I will be 75. Yeah. God give us life. Yeah. We'll get married then. Then, right. <laughs> Why not now, though? I'm not against marriage in any way. Right. Mm. We see each other at weekends. We look forward to seeing each other. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like a new date. It's like we're just, it's, it's always exciting. Mm. Mm. So, I think we should keep that excitement till we are too old to be excited. <laughs> excitement will now kill us. <laughs> So, uh, that's 75 and 75. You can ask that <laughs> First, she says some of the things that she's saying here, she hasn't said anywhere else, even about Fela, and the family has been interviewed several times. But more importantly, what she's, she painted a portrait of a woman who is fully comfortable in her skin. She's always been supporting her brother, her father, her mother. But she's never worried about what people would think about me. What do they say? You know, are they respecting me? Do they see me as the star? She's like, no issues. She's like, she's doing what she wants to do, how she wants to do it. Build a new African shrine. People are still calling it Fela shrine. It's like, that's exactly why we did it. Shrine is a memorial to Fela. The new African shrine is a memorial to Fela. His life, his legacy, his music, everything. It was built by Femi and I, but the people still say Fela shrine. And it's acceptable. It's totally acceptable. So, right. You know, I don't feel any resentment whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I'm happy because that was the intention. You know, there is a self-possession, self-assuredness, self-confidence, self-containment about my auntie, Yeni Kuti, that will just wake your spirit up, get you moving, and keep you on the road. This one was one for the books.